this is why I guess smart too. <laughs> so I understand now that you guys just like want books, like fully just like books, the house boot. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, because you guys seem to be effing with the books crazy. <laughs>
was a DNF. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just Polaroids. I mean, picture, what are those things called? Picture reels. But yeah, this unfortunately, unfortunately, was a DNF. A DNF so hard that it has some damage.
organization and that became a testament to paranoia, murderous rage, and occult rituals. The shoot's locations take him to the cult's first temple in London, an abandoned farm in France, and a derelict copper mine in the Arizonian desert where the temple of the last days met a bloody end. But when he interviews those involved in the case, those who haven't broken silence in decades, a series of uncanny events that plague the, shop, the shoots, troubling out-of-body experiences, nocturnal visitations, the sudden demise of their interviewees, and the discovery of ghastly artifacts make Kyle question what exactly it is the cult has awoken, as well as its interest in him. And it starts out really cool. It's like some paranormal thing about a lady in a house that we're just like, whoa, we get like thrown into it. And then it flashes to the movie crew. Oh, but it was a it was a bore. <laughs> I only got eighty three pages in it, which is like a day and a half of me reading, like an hour and a half of me reading it. I was like, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. I cannot do this. I take place in like London. It was cool, but it was so much description that I just like. It was like tell not show or no yeah it was tell not show i think that's the way that that works <laughs> i think that's the, the phrase but um it was just like they were, they were talking about like a description of a lady and it went on for like three pages they were like her hair looked like this and her shirt was unbuttoned like this and then her face looked like this and then your mom your mom your mom and i was like shut up get to the meat and potatoes like i'm serious i'm not kidding so Writing. I also don't like when a author uses the n-word for no reason in their way. No. 
I appreciate it.